So the focus of today's video is the iron wet blade, but what does it do and why is it important? Now the iron wet blade, what it allows us to do is actually apply heavy scaling, keen scaling or quality scaling to a weapon when using ashes of war. Now to break that down further, what that actually means is that heavy scaling is for strength based characters, keen scaling is for dexterity based characters, and quality scaling is a 50-50 split between strength and dexterity. Now given the fact that dexterity is one of our primary damage dealing stats at least this part of the game keen scaling will be of great use to us and our hero here barry introducing the man the myth the legend barry the bandit light on vigor big on heart bears a master of stealth lethal with a bow a knife sharp sticks and even harsh language for this series we're going to focus on arcane and dexterity as our primary damage dealing stats with a heavier focus on arcane as we head into the late game throughout the playthrough we shall be covering a wide variety of weapons with an emphasis on the aforementioned damage dealing stats as well as taking advantage of the draggy community incantations to add support damage my name is not Budgie. This is Barry. Welcome to How to Build a Bandit. Now, before we begin, we will do our customary pre-flight equipment checks. Let's jump in and have a quick look now. We're currently rolling with the Bloodhounds Fang plus three. Now, I will note we will be swapping this out with the Longbow for range attacks as and when the situation dictates. We'll also be using the Flail if we need to use guard counters, but it does depend on the situation. Um, you'll also notice we swapped out the Beast Crest Heater Shield for the Great Turtle Shell. And that's because this shield has an additional stamina regen effect, which is a buff we lost when we swapped out the Green Turtle Talisman for the Red and Scar Seal. So this is just a way to resolve that situation. Fun fact, you'll just notice if we use the um, Great Turtle Shell like it is now, even if it's on your back, you still uh, the buff still applies, which is actually useful because we need both hands to use the bow and also for the Bloodhound's Fang. Now the reason we need both hands for the Bloodhound's Fang is we don't actually have enough strength to one hand at the moment without the use of a flask as one is Physic. That's just a bit of fun information for you. Now, uh, Armor-wise, we're still rolling with the Bandit Mask. It doesn't really matter what we use. Armor is mostly cosmetic in this game, unless you're looking at poise. We don't really have enough in, uh, carry weight capacity to have any armor of any consequence that will give us... We have no poise, basically. We're basically made of tissue paper. We are kind of a range of builds, so it doesn't really matter. Um, Talisman's obviously we're running with the Radigan Scar Seal, and we also got the Arrows Reach Talisman um, for a bit of extra damage for our arrows. Speaking of, we're running with five bone fletched arrows, um, in our as our R1 slot, we do have bloodbone arrows, um, kind of as backup, but we won't, they're not really relevant to this because they're really for our short bow, not the long bow. Now, what I will say is we're going to craft some more of those now before I forget. Um, and uh, we'll do those now, so we'll get us up to 99. No, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I'll do now. If you don't have enough ingredients to do so, what I would do. You can pick up flight pinions, you can farm flight pinions down here but from the penguins on the rocks. You can farm thin beast bones here from the sheep in this little area. And you can farm smoldering butterfly just here. Okay, in fact, if you make a run from the Warmaster Shack up through, you can also find root resin on the floor and gold tinged excrement, which is useful for another crafting element later in the game. But we'll cover that in a later video. Um, also, what I would do is make sure you have an ample supply of fire grease and fire pots. Now, I've already maxed out at six, uh, well, what we can carry at the moment, anyway. Um, but I will make a few more. What have I done? I will make a couple more uh, fire grease just in case because I'll come in handy for the combat. Anyway, let's get moving. So, what we want to do before we go any further into the game, actually, what I want to do is jump down to the table of lost grace and that's because we picked up our smithing stone twos last episode and i want to use those to upgrade our bows we're going to jump that in now uh, the long bow i mean we do want to upgrade the short bow as well um but we don't have enough materials to do this video um we're going to need the other smithing stones or something else so don't worry about if you're over uh, if you over carry weight it doesn't matter here we're not in combat so <clears throat> it'll just make it easier rather than have to go through our entire inventory all right so we'll jump well, into it. I took you for dinner. No matter, it's all the it your arms. All right. Well, he always thinks I died. He has no faith in me, this guy. Right, so what we want to do is pop this up to one, uh, to five, and to six. Now, the Smithy Stone 3 we've farmed so far, we're going to leave those. Um, it makes more sense to put them in the bow, but I'll make that decision after. Basically, what happens is, after you have... Um, actually, you know what? I'll sort that out now, before I forget. We're going to pop in the flail. Your turn. Yeah, what I was going to say is, um, once we clear out um, the rarely carry crystal tunnels, we do get unlimited access to smithy stones 1 and 2, which only gets you up to plus 6. But after that, you don't pick up the unlimited stones 3 and 4 till 
the Altus Plateau, which is way later on. Back to the Altus Tunnels, just outside the Endless Capital. So we kind of locked in. Once you decide on a weapon, you're locked in. Now we're kind of split between some Smithy Stones and um, regular Smithy Stones. So we're going to pump. A, we're probably going to pump the long bow up to plus twelve. Um, the short bow we might not be able to get all the way. We might do, um, but anything else we won't be able to. Uh, it's, just, it's just worth noting. And let's uh, actually well, before we forget. The other thing we're going to need while we're here is a uh, um, a stone sword key. That's because uh, the iron whetstone is actually in the uh, iron web blade is actually in Stormvale Castle, but it's locked behind a um, imp statue. So we will purchase one of these, like so. And the rest of the runes on our person we'll just have to put up with for now. So let's jump down to uh, Margaret the Philemon, who we killed two or three videos ago, I think. And we're going to run up here, so let's just sprint up. Now there is another side of Grace just at the top here, which is Stormvale Castle. Look at that, it's magnificent, isn't it? Like a wonderful painting. We're going to pick up some bits of bobs ball here. It's not necessary, but I'll just show you where we can get them. So, what we'll do... We'll get the side of Grace. And down here is a fell calling finger remedy. Now, this is not relevant to us. This is only a multiplayer item. But if you want to know where that is, that's there. Now, the other thing we want to do is drop down here. Now this should be a smithing stone if I remember correctly. So we did what? No, it's not it's fire grease. Fire grease times two. I made the fire grease for nothing. Fancy that. I'm not infallible, hey, who knew? So wait no. Alright, oh, that's right. We go this way, don't we? Yeah, now I remember. Okay. I just realised I forgot something, but uh, it's bad. we'll cross that bridge. So, the first thing we want to do is speak to a chap inside here. This is Gostock. Come over here, would you? I will. You, you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? Yes. I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded. By hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. Very well. We will do that. Yes, that's yeah. the. You're just the kind I pray for your success. Yeah, do you though? But he's not wrong. So the main gate there is actually. Um, a kill box. There are archers, crossbows, all sorts of stuff aimed at this. So if you run through there, on your head be it. The downside is if we leave him alive here, he will in fact, every time we die or if we die, he will take percentage of our runes. Um, but he is kind of relevant later on, So and he has actually sell some useful items, so we'll leave him alive. And we'll go this way around. We can't use him as a trader yet for whatever reason, but that's okay. We'll get a gold rune too from there. I'm going to go this way around. So we're going to go jump up here. Get a ruin fragment. They are kind of useless, those things. Um, but you can always sell them in a pinch if you need to, I guess. Right, here. This is what we need the bow for. So we're going to two-hand the bow. These are Stormhawks. They drop Stormhawk feathers, which you can use... Or Stormwing feathers, which you can use to make Storming Arrows, which are an immense um, stagger build-up, but... These things that are a pain in the ass. So what we want to do, you hold left down trigger to activate mighty shot, and then we're going to use R um, R one for our fire arrows. They should one shot it, I think. Yeah. Now there is uh, another one. I thought there was another one down here, wasn't there? Did I dream it? Hmm. I could have sworn there was another one. Ah. Crouch. What there are two. Anyway. Anyway. Ah. 
There's one there, though. That could have gone better. Be the first to admit. Did they actually drop? Oh shit! Oh. Fly opinion. Oh. Risked it all for nothing. Now we're actually stuck down here. <laughs> um. Oh, we're not stuck. Oh, hang on. There is an item here. If I remember. Look at that. That's ten bolts. Totally worth a hundred percent. Really glad I did that. <laughs> um, having a bow in this game does actually make so much this castle so much easier. Taking on these birds as a melee character is a real ball ache, but we don't have to worry about that. Now up here, you want to be very careful because there are two birds in those trees, and it's one on the ground. We're going to crouch at this point here. Again, left trigger for mighty shot. Boom, and he's down. Focus on this one, same deal. Boom. Boom. Now it's now safe. We can run forward. We can pick up a smithy stone three times one. Which again, we're not going to use now, but we can use later. We can another flight pinion. But no storming feathers, god damn it. Okay. It's not that I have the recipe book to make those arrows just yet, but it's not the point. You know what I mean? So, we'll run down here. We'll get side of grace. Uh, in fact, at this point, what I will do is um, rest. So the grace to get all the resources back. Like so. Now, dealing with these guys with the bow and arrow is way easier than everything we've done before. N normally, dealing with these guys on... He will sound the horn, most likely. Or he won't. Uh, if it does happen... Oh, he still notices. What, what's the difference, then? Alright. Is it the one? There's, there is the third one that runs around, isn't there? These guys drop Exile. And uh, who drops Mushrooms and a Mild Leather Shield. They drop Exile Armor, which is actually pretty good for us, for this light. I say, it doesn't... Oh, if you sound the alarm, he gets noticed, right. So the other guy must be here, because he kind of notices, that's funny. Right, there are two dudes just in here. Boom. Alright. Get the gold ring too. Now, what I would do in this instance is, if you hold down R1, you can aim, uh, L1, you can aim. And these are explosive barrels, so just clear those out. It'll make life a bit easier. And it'll sneak. What the? There we go. Yeah, if you stand kind of this point they can't actually hit you which is actually pretty useful there's also a guy down here we might miss no, we've got him. yeah a plus six bow with fire arrows is just immense now these are the hook claws these are very useful weapons we're actually going to use these later in the playthrough i think um we we'll probably want to get the claw talisman as well but we're not going to be covering that in this video that's beyond the scope we really want to get the iron web blade this episode okay so we're going to go up, the, up here. But yeah, we will. We do actually have to go through our inventory and get rid of all the weapons we want. Like, for instance, we want to get rid of the torch and use the steel wire torch. This is actually... I'm actually going to upgrade this when we have unlimited smithy stones. This is a fun weapon to use. It's got a really good uh, weapon art on it. I want to get rid of some of the shields. I'll keep those two. Um, probably keep those two and all the rest will get binned. And I'll just keep the bows. All the, all the strength-based stuff is going to go straight just to the chest. And we'll keep the weapons we need to be used. Because it'll be easy to swap through when we have got to scroll through 500 weapons. Okay, now this door we can't open yet. But I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Get throwing daggers here. Very ready to use those. We might actually make some darts and things for this game, right? So again, 
this guy we can take out from here. This is what the arrow tree talisman really shines, things like this. So if again, hold left hand trigger for my shot. Alright. Oh, Use the wrong arrows, right. Typical of me, I instruct you to be careful and use this. Centrina's arrow, excellent. I can't even because fuck him. Actually, we want to do that, don't we? We do. You gotta be careful with those edges because you'll notice. Never even knew he was up there. We could have killed him when we were down there. Bollocks. Wait. No. For some reason I thought that was a. I thought I saw something. Right. Not the turtle shell, it's so fun. It's a great shield, actually. It's not. This drop's done here. Oh, right. I was wondering how we got that. Okay. I did a practice run. <coughs> I completely missed that. I mean, it's only a smoldering butterfly, so. It's not like we missed out. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, um, right. I'll really tingly throw. This commentary really takes it out of me. I, I really struggle with the intro for this video. Sometimes I just can't word. It's the best way to explain it. Right. We were going the right way, you fool. Up this way. Got everything we need now. Yeah. To so killed him. bow out. If we go up there, we can... I think we can kill him from here. No. Did I not kill him? Oh no, we have to manually aim with him, don't we? That's right. It's so dirty with this bow. You can actually pick up the arrow sting talisman as well, which adds extra damage. I'll pick up this as well. I don't think this is... Gold Ring 2. Totally worth it, 100%. Really glad I did that. Okay, let's jump down. It's good to be thorough. You're learning things. I'm learning things. You're learning things. I mean, as I said, I picked most of this stuff up. Let's, uh... Pop the blue. I picked most of this stuff up in my practice run that I completely forgot. I had a phone call and I lost a lot of memory. So... Up we go. Now. In here is where we get the key that we need. But it is a bit of a clusterfuck. Because basically, when we go through here, what happens is... Gostock, our friend... From the gate locks us in with a banished knight so what we're gonna do is get set up before we go we're gonna swap out these we're gonna pop in our um blood has fang plus three because two-handed because again we can't use it without okay and then what we want to do what i would suggest is Poppy Flask upon his Physic. Poppy Fire Grease. And get ready to hit him with a grenade. Okay, so actually it's relatively easy to kill him without... So let me get locked in. Bastard. Alright. So he's going to be directly behind us there. That wasn't clinical. Uh, it went a lot smoother in my practice run, but we got him. We got Banish Knight Crease. Last, when I did my practice run, he dropped a Banish Knight's great sword, which is actually immense. Not for us, but it's a good sword. Um, got the Rusty Key, which is good. We got absolutely mangled doing that. But by the fact, they are actually pretty easy to kill. Now, we pick up the Curve Small Talisman. So, what does that do? If we jump down to Talisman Talisman, we're not going to use it right now because it's not applicable, but what it actually does is increase the damage on Guard Counter. So, when you. 
When you hold a shield up, the enemy hits your shield, they rebounce off, and it gives you a chance to do a critical attack. This actually increases the damage of those. Um, has varying use for us. It's not as pickle to our build because we're not really a block counter build. We will use it on occasion, but it's not something we rely on super heavily, so don't stress about it. And we're going to open the door, get out. Okay. Then we're going to drop down here. Break my knees. You know, open the gate. What we, what we probably want to do is get a potion. Wait, nope. Game seems a bit glitchy today. I'm struggling with these ladders. Maybe it's just me being stupid. That's also possible, I guess. Up we go. Alright, at this point, we can swap out. Uh. Pop back in our oh, um my throat. Pop in the long bone. Now for this guy here, I oh, know, swap. This is gonna suck for him real bad. We already killed that one there. I'm gonna run across, we're gonna jump. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Alright. Gonna get that, get the fire grease. Again, is it central to us? No, not really. We're not going to bother with that thing over there. What we are going to do here... Let's go through here. Let's swap to our shield. There's a guy down here. Oh, fuck. Did either drop anything? No. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, thought there was another one there for some reason. So we go through here. Now this is no use to us whatsoever. But just in case you're wondering what it is, this is the brick hammer, which is an immense strength weapon. <coughs> but as such, it also takes immense strength to wield it. Now strength is never going to get that high in this playthrough. I mean, we probably use it if we were a bit creative with our flask as one of physics and maybe a talisman and we two-handed it, we could probably get there, but it's no use to our build or server, to be honest. Um, I am going to do a strength playthrough, one of these, um, how, to, how to play. I'm going to have to play Vagabond and we will do a strength build um, at this rate, probably after Christmas. <laughs> but um, I do intend to do a full, fully committed, full-on strength build because it will be a lot of fun. And even more interesting now, you can't use flame the red mains like you used to, so I'm going to have to be more <coughs> pure strength, which is going to be interesting. So, I'm going to go this way. Go. Oh, forgot about you. <laughs> okay, so, okay, well, normally, <laughs> what happens is you come around here and um, you get a cheeky hit, but you completely miss. Because I ran too fast for him. And then we got no damage. There's another guy here. We're going to crouch. We're going to get up close. And we're going to just... Murder him. We're going to pick up a silver pick a foul foot. But what do these do? These, um... Increase your discovery, which is actually bolstered by a cane, usually. Um, so if you're trying to farm rare items, there's actually a great thing to run. Or even if you're just farming in general. It's a great item to use, but, um... We're going to be an arcane, but our arcane is going to be pretty high, so we won't need it much. Um, it does make a difference. If, say, when you're farming your thin beast bones and your um, smoldering butterfly mana, it does actually help a lot. Now, up here is another vanished knight, so I actually want to get prepped for that in advance. Whoa, before I don't fall off the edge. Swap out you. We're going to pop in the... Um, uh, blood out the thing. I know we haven't used the Twin Blade much, by the way, so we're past it, but we are going to use that soon. It's kind of why I want the um, Keen Scaling. So what we want to do here, we can't use this, but we can use Fire Grease. So we're going to pop that on. We're going to get the grenade up. We're going to wait for this guy to... Uh, he should turn around and go back. Yeah? Yeah. So, chuck a grenade. One... There we go, good night. 
But that second attack is if basically if you do the L trigger to do the first attack, and if you time it and do a right trigger straight after, you get that kind of jump attack. Um, we can actually avoid our damage if you can time it right. It's pretty good. I've mistimed it a lot in this playthrough, but it is actually very useful to use. Um, there's an item there. Do we want to pick that up? May as well go this far. Okay. So this lift doesn't work at the moment. We can activate that, but it's a bit risky to do. Um, we don't need it. It's beyond the scope of this video. All right. And there's another lift here, which we will activate in due course. Um, so you can actually go up that way and out the back. That will get us to Godric, but we're not going to do that this video. What we, all we want is the Iron Whip Blade. So we're going to run through here. We're going to pick up the um, Thunder Grace. <coughs> and what we'll actually do here is rest to reset everything back to ones. So what we'll do is we will swap out. Uh, actually, you know, no, we don't need. It. We'll, we need. We need the bow. Stick to your guns. Need these two in a short term. Put the bow back in. I will make a few more of these. Just keep on level. What I'll do? Two handy bow. There are some more of these Stormwing um, Hawks or whatever. So they should one shot him like that. There's another one there. They should do him from this range, I think. Yep. Yep. Okay. And that's where we're going to get down here and along this way. So we'll do that in just a sec. We'll pick up this. Might be, we might not get any luck. Though. See what I mean? Those storm wings, they're really rare. I think I got one in my practice run, but <clears throat> oh well. So you can drop down here, actually, and that lift we saw at the very start, that's how you activate it. You drop down and get it switched on. Um, <coughs> there is also a Crucible Knight, and then you have to get through it. You, know, you can run past him to get the lift to activate the door. You can fight him on the ledge. Or you can kind of cheese him when he falls down the hole in the lift, but again, we don't need body drops and we don't need that right this minute. There is a couple of other things down there, but it's not important right now. And just here, there is some explosive barrels. And there's actually another bird just behind this wall here. So what I'll do, take you on. He's down. Pick up another Smith Stone 2. He didn't, he didn't drop a goddamn thing. But it's all right. It's all right. All right, lads. All right. Now, we're going to go through here. You can drop straight down, but it's actually easier to deal with this banished knife from up here. But there are two of them we need to take out. Yeah, this guy. I don't. I think this will miss him, won't it? No, if you throw a grenade. Maybe let hit him. Yeah, we got him. I'm gonna pop an arrow in this bastard. Nope. Okay, so he's coming up the ladder, but don't fret. In fact, what we can do. Oh shit. Nope. Bollocks! That did not go smooth. Oh shit. Well, we need to be down there anyway. All right, dude. All right. That could have got better. Well, I did in my practice run. I just pepped him with arrows as he was climbing the ladder, but uh, it didn't really work. Though I wanted it to, but it's all right. Um. The other thing we want to do. Is pop it there. That could have gone smoother than it did. Don't stress. Accidents happen. We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. A long way far, well, far from it, in fact. In fact, if you follow my playthroughs, you probably know I'm an idiot. But uh, I'm trying to be a bit better. Through here is an NPC. This is the guy that helped us out um, when we fought Market, and he's actually a spellblade and a trader. So we'll talk ah, to him. Nice to meet you. Yeah. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I did. I'm looking for a little something. Mm -hmm. Here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. 
What are you doing here in Storm? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know? They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. I'm here to defeat Godric. I see. Here to challenge Godric and lay your hands upon a great rune, are you? Yeah. You can see it then, I take it. The guidance of grace. Yep. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm tarnished, like you. But unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the longest time. Still, I won't forget how it felt when I first came here, to the lands between. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? As a fellow tarnished, once guided by Grace, I'd love to help you out, if it please. So he basically sells um, spells. So he sells the Ashes of Ashes of War spinning weapon. This is the, probably one of the only um, Ashes of War you can actually put in a staff, uh, but we don't need it. Uh, he also sells Carrying Grace, which is a fantastic um, Ash of War if you're an in base character. And he also sells Glinto Pebble, which kind of, if you're a mage, it's kind of your mainstay weapon. We don't need any of that, so we'll say goodbye. There's a dude here. We're going to kill him with, a, with a my arrows. Didn't mean to do that. One here. Alright. Oop. Okay. So we're on this way. Now down there is actually where we want to end up. Where that smoky door is. I believe that we come out the other side. We're going to get, before we do that, we've got a couple of things to do. So there is gold room two here. chap just there that's one of the big ones right he's down okay. so down there is the grafted sign which is if you remember at the very beginning of the game that we encountered one of those and we run from it or killed ourselves but this one we can't run from we're gonna have to kill him you can kind of run around him if you want but since we're gonna be coming back to this area a few times it's better to take him out which seems insane but trust me it's not so bad with the bone arrow and there is a banished knight through here, so we're going to walk through slow like. Okay. What I would suggest you do at this point, swap out these. Pop in our trusty... Um... Uh, pop in the fire grease. Again, pop in the strength. Get a couple of grenades handy, in fact, pop a bluey. There he is. Hi, dude. There we go. We didn't need to follow up attack, but yeah, they, they, if you go smooth, they're pretty straightforward to kill. Here is the Mimic Veil, um, which is an item I never use, and you probably will never use either. What it allows you to do is mimic a uh, nearby object, so if you've kind of got a really stealthy character, I guess you could probably optimize it, but I really have no interest. This guy's fucked. Sorry, but you are. Now, this is a door you can only open from the, uh, from the other side. As you can see, it doesn't open from this side. Which is a common theme in this game, and I believe... Oh, hello. I can see you there. Oh, shit. I didn't want to do this. Mate, can you not? Right, that did not... Go as intended. Okay. So what we need to do at this point is swap out. Uh, it. He's coming. He's coming. I can see him coming. Mate, can you can you fucking pack that in? All right. There's that one there. Right, what do we do before the shit? It's a fan, crap a few of these. Probably won't need them, but just in case. Right, and where's this thing? There it is. Uh. Oh, fuck.
we should be able to kill him like this. Takes it away. He's a, he does do a bit silly buggery. Yeah. It's annoying, but we can we'll take him down. Don't worry. I mean, could you not fuck me about? Oh, oh, oh. It's relatively straightforward. That took a bit longer than I intended, but that's okay. It's okay. So down here, we're nearly there. We have Highland Axe, which is a pretty cool weapon. There's another one here, I believe. No, it's not your never mind. Through here. This leads out into kind of the main area, but we'll kill that guy, because fuck him. <clears throat> All runes, right? We'll come back and clear this area out later. The Grafted Scion does not respawn, so we can come back here and clean out our, uh, our leisure. Okay, um, we will be coming back to the castle, obviously, for various reasons. Obviously, for Godric, for one. Now, through there, that's actually where we need to go, but we'll come back there in just a moment. Um, what I want to do... First and foremost, remember that lift I mentioned didn't work? This is how you get it to work. Here we go. With our... Shell. So that leads back to here, okay, which is if you're not if you don't remember this is back up to the top where we started. We already had that sort of grace, so we're gonna drop back down. We're not going to activate everything, we'll keep it as is. Ah oh, shit. Oh that was uh The lift crushed me, didn't it? That's probably gonna be the first time in my entire eldering career that's happened to me. Oh well, she happens. Okay. All the runes will be at the bottom. Oh, they're here. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> Let's get the lift up. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Good job. This is a no death. This is not a no death run, right? All right. So we'll wait patiently for the lift, unlike last time. All right now we can go. So through here, it's a couple of dogs. You headshot him, it should kill him, right? Or not? Oh, fuck. Let me go. Alright, we'll do it this way then. How did that miss both times? Anyway, we, you can actually kill him from the top. But fuck it. There's lump of flesh. This is the Crimson Hood. It's actually quite a fun piece of armor. What it does... Increases your vigor by one, which... <laughs> I don't know if it's worth the one poise it costs you, but... Fuck it. It's something to think about. Now. Let's go back. Pick up a weapon. Now, what I would suggest you do at this point is top the health up, pop a bluey, make a few more of these. Okay. That's another smithy stone too. Now this is what we need the stone sword key for. So we pop that in here. Yes. Now there is a dude here. I think there might be two dudes actually. That is the Iron Whip Blade. Don't let anybody tell you crafting is a waste of time in this game, because it really isn't. Crescent Moon Axe, that's a great strength weapon. No good to us. Also down here, you pick up the Hawk Crest Wooden Shield, which another shield we'll never ever use. No, I've ever used it. <coughs> <coughs> but we also... <coughs> but we also win the Misericord, which is actually awesome. Um, there's a dagger. We're actually, we're actually a dagger build. We can be. This is an amazing dexterity weapon, and it's got 140 critical. So you could use that with a parrying or block counters and do some dirty things with it. So we're going to actually... Wait. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Anyway, let's jump back up to the Rampart Tower. And that's it. So let's look at that. In fact, you know what I want to do? We'll jump down to the oh, okay, gate front. And we will, let's, for instance, drop these. We'll, keep, we'll, do, we'll pop the twin blade in that we've been thus far ignoring. Right? And what we'll do is we'll show you how we can use the. We are going to level that up, by the way. I'll show you how we can upgrade this. So, at the moment, it's got blood quality, which means it does cause blood loss buildup, but what it doesn't do is um, you can't use any buffs on it because it's got an element. If you put Keen on it, like so, yeah. It doesn't have the blood loss buildup. But what you can do is buff the weapon, right? So we'll just murder this guy. What it means is while it's buffed like this, you can also just take on this guy. Use the edge of war. Like that, see? What that means is we can also apply other buffs like Blood Flame Blade, for example, or Blood uh, Grease, or anything we like, and still be able to get the build up. So let's take on this jump. Oh. So we can use that for anything because we can bump our dexterity and it will increase the damage of the weapon and the Ash of War itself because the Ash of War is on the strength of the weapon. So you buff the weapon and we can do um, scaling with our stat and then apply status effects. So, so it's pretty cool. All right. That's what we wanted to do that for. So that's that. Well, that's everything I wanted to do this video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll, uh, you know, see you next time. Bye-bye now.